Hey guys, it's Drew with the Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing off 18 coins that we got back from CAC. Why did they sticker or why didn't they sticker? CAC actually told us on a few coins why they didn't sticker, and it's actually pretty interesting. Let's get this video started. So over the past few months, it's been tougher to find higher tier coins that have been worth sending to CAC. As you guys know, CACG is about to launch, and they're in the soft open right now. And so with CAC stickering, that for us felt like it might be in the back burner for them. And thus, we didn't want to submit coins to them, and it'd take a long time. But surprisingly, I was wrong. I was wrong because when I got it there, it took them about eight or nine days before they ended up sending us grades and sending it back to us, which I thought was a very good amount of time. And it was actually earlier than expected, as opposed to NGC or PCGS, if they were to encapsulate coins. And so what I want to do now is I want to show you guys all these coins up close, give you my opinion on them, tell you about the wins and tell you about the losses. Let's show you those coins right now. All right, guys. So we're going to show you the first seven coins that we ended up putting in this submission. Some commands, some gold, and we also had some dollars, and we have a walker right here as well. The coin we're going to start off with is this 1936 Gettysburg commemorative half. It's graded mint state 67. Maybe they just felt like the grade wasn't strong enough on the coin. I'm going to try to zoom in as, as much as I can. There is a coin roll on the cheek. And there is some haze on the back. Maybe they felt that haze was unattractive. Or maybe they felt there was too many hits on the coin to give it that sticker, which is unfortunate, but still a pretty neat coin. Nonetheless, we have a few stickers, as you can see, on each one of these coins. And the reason why those stickers are on there is because they wanted to give us notes and some stuff that we can learn when we're working through this video and showing you guys these coins. So this is a 1927 Saint. It's great. Mint State 65 by PCGS. And what John and his team said was obverse abrasions were too much for this coin to receive a sticker. And I'm not going to lift the sticker up because this is not our coin and we want the person that owns the coin to do what they want with the sticker. But there are too many hits on the front of the coin for this coin to sticker. So I guess that's what they expected out of this coin. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but I thought this coin was really nice when I saw it and I thought I had a good chance. But they thought otherwise and now we just take notes. And we look out for those abrasions, especially with Gem Saints. They're pretty tough on those coins, and so you have to be a learner about it. You have to suck it up, and you have to keep going. So that's the 1880cc Morgan Dollar, Great Mint State 63. And uh, pretty rough obverse, and I think that they kind of didn't even have to write a note on this coin. But it's a little bit too rough on the obverse, I think, for it to be worth it. And uh, yeah, they didn't sticker this coin, sadly. We have this 1910D Indian. It's created AU58 by NGC. I think this coin just doesn't match up in terms of grade. I think this coin is probably, you know, just a C coin. It's an okay 58, but it's not a great 58, and that's okay. There's just a lot going on on the coin. I think that the strike and the circulation on the obverse cheek is too much, and that's how it goes. Then we have this 1941D Walker. So I ended up submitting, wanting to, well, there's a client that wanted to submit four walkers. And I only submitted two out of the four because I felt the other two had PVC on them, which sucks. But this one has reverse abrasions that were too strong for this coin to sticker. So if we could try to find those, that would be really good. It was really tough for me to find it earlier. I could see some coin rolls going all the way through the wings. There's about two coin rolls going through the wings right there. But maybe that coin roll is what held them back. And uh, that kind of stinks. So we have this 92cc. It's great AU53. As you can see, there's that whitish kind of, it kind of lights up around the rim of the coin, around those stars. I think someone did a light clean on this coin, which is kind of what CAC said about this coin. And that's what landed at the no sticker. Like I said, they're pretty tough on gold. They just want it to be nice and original. And this one, since it has cleaning, did not receive the sticker. Last one on this tray, which is the first sticker we're going to show in this video, is this 1885-0 Morgan Dollar Rate Min State 64. It is DMPL, and it's CC approved. 
little New Orleans mint, but it is a little soft in terms of its mirrors. But it's green on green, and it's really nice. Now let's show you guys tray number two. So tray number two is all stickers. And these are going to be our coins and a few other coins from other people. So this 1859 we ended up buying from Tyler McManus. It's got incredible luster. We ended up reholdering this coin so it would have the snow variety. The snow variety is a little bit more tougher on this date. And people are looking for it. I knew it would sticker because it stickered the first time without the variety on there. And so they were just basically restickering this coin for us. Definitely an incredible first year type coin. I'm glad the sticker's back on it. We have this 1942 Walker. It's going to prove 67 plus. This coin came out of a capital holder and was submitted to PCGS by our friend Loki. Loki ended up selling it to us and we ended up sending it to CAC. Ended up passing and that is a great thing. It's got some nice toning on the obverse. No big hits that I can see. No terrible hairlines as most proofs get knocked down for that. And so maybe, you know, this coin's probably maybe a 68 today, but that's okay. We're going to learn from this coin. And we might sell it as is, or we might get it reconsidered. We have two high-end buffaloes here. We have this 1921 Redman State 66. It's an old green holder. The cheek is strong. There's a few kind of spots underneath the chin. It's kind of hard to pick up on. There is a little bit of a hit underneath the chin as well. And it's got this really nice blue and green on the reverse. Just a fully original coin. The coin is just stunning. And, uh, yeah, really nice. Probably a 67 by today's standards, but I wanted to make sure it was CAC approved before I did anything else with it. We have this 36D and 67 CAC now. The cheek is strong. The fields are strong. There's a few kind of spots um, in the fields on this coin, which kind of held me back a little bit. There's a light hit underneath the buffalo, which is so hard to pick up, especially with this lighting. But the color is fabulous. Do love this coin a lot. We ended up submitting this Colombian. So we bought two Colombians and Rattlers. And people didn't see the reverse, evidently, because the reverse on this coin is really nice. But if we take a look at the obverse of the coin, a lot of them are super weak, especially on the jaw or kind of the, the chin, or not the chin, but the, uh, the cheek. Excuse me. So you can see there's almost like this weak rub, and that's probably from the strike. And a lot of them just don't get over, you know, 65, 66. It's just they're weakly struck in that area, and that's what holds most of these coins back. But when you take a look at this color on the reverse, we felt it was really nice, especially in a Rattler. We probably will keep this coin because Casey likes it a lot. And, uh, yeah, definitely a neat coin. It has everything that you want. Nice luster on the obverse, and uh, it has, has a nice color on the reverse. So we ended up submitting this coin for a buddy of ours, 1903 Jefferson Gold Dollar. It's in a Rattler. I'm glad it stickered for him. Um, it, it's nice, wholesome, has a little wear on it, but it's nothing of a, of a you know, mint state coin. We have this 1892 $5 Gold Lib. It did pass, but I think Stephen, which is the owner, was looking for it to probably gold sticker. We just felt like the surfaces were nice enough to Get a 61 CAC, but they didn't agree with that. They just think it's a nice 60. We have this 1883 No Sense V-Nickel. It's graded Mint State 65. I found this on eBay, and I ended up sending it to Steven for him to buy because there's not many V-Nickels, I guess, in uh, in doilies. And so this one ended up passing, which was a huge win. I didn't think it would pass because I didn't like the smudging on this coin. There's a lot of kind of grayish haze. As you can see in the fields, I just wasn't a fan of it, but CAC liked it, and they stickered it. So we have this Vancouver, which we sent in with the sticker, and he wanted to get it gold certified because he felt like it was, you know, even exceeding the grade, and they couldn't pull up the cert because I guess the cert is not in PCGS's system. It's just that they didn't keep track of PCGS certs too well back in the day, and I don't think uh, CAC... Ended up taking a look at this coin a second time. That's just my opinion, but I had to verify with them, which kind of stinks for him. It's just so much work for it to not be looked at and uh, reconsidered. And last but not least, we ended up sending this coin in for our friend Adam. We bought this coin ourselves, and he bought it from us, and then we sent it in for him and a green sticker. So very nice walker, near 67, and uh, it's got some incredible luster on the coin. 
There's light hair lines out in the right field, but other than that, the strike is great. The luster is great. And it's an unbelievable walker. Thank you guys for taking a look at all these cat coins. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the coins that we talked about today. Did you guys enjoy them? Did you learn something from them? Make sure to also subscribe because we're coming out with videos every single week and we want you to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next video.